This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. Okay, I have hamburger, hot dogs, and cheese in the no pile. And I have broccoli, cauliflower, grapes, and these little peppers in the yes pile. Oh, hi everybody, welcome. I'm Wanda Collins, your Snap Ed Nutritionist. And today, I'm dividing food into two groups. I have the no fiber group and the fiber group. Oh, I know, you're used to seeing these five groups, right? We have fruit and vegetable, grain, protein, and dairy. And that's how we usually do it. But today, I'm gonna to take all five of these and I'm gonna change them into no fiber and fiber. So let's finish sorting them out. I have black beans, that's a fiber food. I have nuts, they're a fiber food. I have canned fruit, that's a fiber food. I have raisins, that's a fiber food. Oh, these little crackers, no fiber. I have peanut butter, that has fiber. Oh, and these yummy cookies, no fiber. And these crackers though, they have fiber. So today, let's find out all about fiber. Fiber is amazing. By the end of this video, you will be able to tell someone the health benefits of high fiber food, be able to tell which foods are high fiber foods, and know that your friends like high fiber foods. Let's start by thinking about this. What do we do when a pan needs to be scrubbed? Yes, you have to scrub the pan with a scouring pad until it is clean. Guess what? Fiber cleans the parts of your body where food passes through, kind of like those scouring pads that clean the pan. That's why fiber is so important and amazing. When we eat enough fiber, our chances of getting some diseases go way down. Since fiber is so important and amazing, we should be asking, where do we get fiber? Well, we get it from plants, and it's easy to get fiber when, when we focus on whole fruits and vary our veggies, and when we make half of our grains whole grains, and when we change our protein routine and include nuts, seeds, and beans from the protein group, we can have plenty of fiber in our diet. So let's do a mini quiz. I just told you fiber comes from plants only. So, does fiber come from corn? Yes, corn has fiber because it comes from a plant. Does meat have fiber? No, meat comes from animals. There is no fiber in meat. How about soda? Does it have fiber? No, it does not have fiber. It has a lot of added sugar, but no fiber. How about watermelon? Yes, watermelon comes from a plant, so it has fiber. There is one thing to remember about plants and fiber. The more a food looks like it does when it is growing in or on the ground or on a tree, the more fiber it will have. That's why an apple has more fiber than applesauce. So focus on whole fruit to get the most fiber from fruit. All vegetables and fruits have fiber, but it is easier to see in some than others. The fiber in a sweet potato is very easy to see. The fiber in a banana, not so much. But they both will keep you healthy. This is true for all high fiber foods. High fiber foods include all fruits. Remember, focus on whole fruits, vegetables, and vary your veggies to get the best health benefit. Whole grains, so make half your grains whole, 
like whole wheat bread and whole grain pasta and brown rice and whole grain crackers. Popcorn is a great whole grain. And be sure to vary your protein routine by having beans, nuts, and seeds because they are high fiber as well. And let's not forget those delicious beans. They are very high in fiber. And look how colorful the high fiber side is. Low fiber foods are more processed. White rice and anything made with white flour will have less fiber. All the more reason to make half your grains whole and make half your plate fruits and vegetables. And if you can't get those in a meal, we should make sure they are our snacks. It's game time! And it's a game that you will be able to play after we are done. It's called the High Fiber Game. It's going to help you remember what yummy foods have a lot of fiber. Now, I will show you how to make your own game, and then you will be able to play with people in your life. Pause the video and gather these materials. A piece of paper, something to write with, crayons, pencils, pen, whatever you want. I recommend something with a fine point. A pair of scissors, if you have them. I will show you how to do this without scissors. And some patience. You will have the opportunity to pause this video as we go along. So start with your piece of paper and pick up this corner. Fold it all the way over so it lines up with the edge of the paper and that top corner is folded in half. Once everything is lined up perfectly, then reach up with your hand and smooth down that angle. Now you should have a piece of paper that looks like this. Pause the video and fold your paper. Next, we have to fold up this bottom piece. Make sure you fold it right up to the bottom of the paper there. And when you fold it up, make sure that that line and that corner of the paper line up perfectly. Once you get it all lined up, run your finger down it to smooth out that piece of paper. Pause the video and make that fold. Now we have to remove this bottom piece and we can do that with scissors or without. First, take your nail and run really hard against that paper. Now if you don't have scissors, you can open this up and you can begin to tear it down that really tight crease that you made and go very slowly so you don't rip the paper in a weird way. Now, if you have scissors, all you have to do is cut right along that crease and you end up with a square. Pause the video and remove that piece from your paper so you have a square. Now, take the top corner of your square and fold it toward the middle. Take the other top corner and fold it toward the middle. Now the paper might pucker a little, but you'll just have to straighten it out. Get those two corners exactly even. And like I said, remove any puckers. And hold it down while you take your other hand and smooth out the paper. Now your paper should look like this. Pause the video and fold those two corners to the center of the paper. Now turn your paper upside down so the point is down and reach up to that corner. Put it right down with the other two corners and when it's in the right place, smooth it out and make a nice crease in the paper. Now your paper should look like this. Now take that last corner, fold it right down to the other three corners so they're all right in the middle Hold it there while you smooth it out with your other hand. And now your paper looks like this. Pause the video and fold the corners of your paper in. Okay, now flip your paper over so you don't see those corners. And now we're doing the same thing on this side. Take a corner, bring it to the center, and press it down. Take another corner, bring it to the center and press it down. 
You could do those two at the same time to get it perfect. Now turn it and fold it into the center and press it down. Now take the last one, fold it into the center and press it down. Now make sure your creases are nice and firm and your paper looks like this. Pause the video and make those folds on your paper. We are almost done. Now pick up your paper and flip it over and you see these four squares that are divided by those lines? I want you to fold your paper along those lines and squeeze really, really hard. You want those lines really tight and then turn it and fold it again and sometimes it doesn't cooperate but you can make it work and just squeeze it really hard and make those lines super tight. There you go. Now, once you've got those tight, open it back up and it should look like this with little tiny triangles. Pause the video and make those folds for your game. Now it's time to label and decorate our game. First, on the side with the little triangles, place numbers on each triangle. I labeled mine this way. Five and two are on the top. One and seven are on the right side. Three and six are at the bottom. Eight and four are on the left side. You don't have to number them this way, but it will make drawing the inside easier if you're following along with my numbering. Pause the video and take a few minutes to number your high fiber game. Now open up your game so it looks like this. Underneath number five, we're going to put the word orange, O-R-A-N-G-E and draw a picture of an orange. It's a great high fiber food. If you want, you can color it. That's what it'll look like. Now pause the video and draw your high fiber snack, the orange, under number five. Under number two, we are going to write whole, W-H-O-L-E hyphen, wheat, W-H-E-A-T, Crackers, C-R-A-C-K-E-R-S. You can draw and color a couple of crackers in if you like. Make half your grains whole grains by choosing these crackers for a snack. Pause the video and write whole wheat crackers under number two. Turn your paper so that orange and whole wheat crackers are on the left side. Now, under number one, write unsalted, U-N-S-A-L-T-E-D, nuts, N-U-T-S. You can draw some pictures of nuts as well. I'm going to draw a peanut and a pistachio. And I think I'd like to draw a walnut. It's good to vary your protein routine by incorporating nuts into your snacks. They are a great high fiber food. Pause the video and fill in your unsalted nuts under number one. It's time for number seven. And we're going to have a veggie. It's a carrot. C A R R O T. Draw a picture and color it in. It's good to vary our veggies. The more variety of veggies, the more nutrients. A carrot is a great high fiber snack. Pause the video and draw your carrot underneath number seven. Turn the paper so unsalted nuts and carrots are on the left. Now, Underneath number three, we're going to write raisins, R-A-I-S-I-N-S. -I -I Draw some pictures of raisins and color them in. Raisins are a great way to get some fruit into our snacks. Pause the video and draw your raisins underneath number three. 
We are up to number six. And it's a banana. B A N A N A. Draw a picture of your banana and color it in. When we focus on whole fruit, we get more fiber. This banana has fiber and it's a tasty snack. Pause the video and draw your picture of a banana under number six. Turn your paper so raisins and banana are on the left side. And we're down to our last two. The first one is number four. Under that, write unsalted, U-N-S-A-L-T-E-D, popcorn, P-O-P-C-O-R-N. Draw a picture, and popcorn is a great whole grain. So add popcorn to your snacks to help make half your grains whole grains. Pause the video and write unsalted popcorn under your number four. It's our last one and it's under number eight. It's whole, W-H-O-L-E hyphen grain, G-R-A-I-N, cereal, C-E-R-E-A-L. Draw a picture and color it in. Make half your grains whole by eating whole grain cereal for a snack and get that extra fiber. Pause the video and under number eight, write whole grain cereal. We are almost ready to play. We label the numbers. We have the inside labeled with yummy high fiber foods. And now fold it up, flip it over, and you see these little squares? We're going to add words on these. The first one is high, H-I-G-H. The next one, fiber, F-I-B-E-R. Under high, write foods, F-O-O-D-S. And under fiber, write rock, R-O-C-K. Our high fiber game is ready to play because high fiber foods rock. Pause the video and write high fiber foods rock on the outside of your high fiber game. Yay, the game is ready to play. Now take your thumb and forefinger and put it in two pockets. It doesn't matter which two. And take the other thumb and forefinger and put it in two other pockets. Now kind of push the whole thing together so it comes to a point. Smooth out any crinkles you might have. And ask somebody which word they'd like you to spell. And when they choose it, you move your fingers in and out. I'm going to pretend it's the word hi. H-I-G-H. -H. Now I ask which numbers on the inside would you like to look at. And they pick number one. So I open it up and number one is unsalted nuts. And I tell them what a great snack that is. And so we put the game back together. And this time a person chooses fiber. So F-I-B-E-R. And I ask them, which of the four numbers on the inside do you want to choose? They think about it and choose number three. I open number three and it's raisins. I ask them if they like raisins. If they do, I tell them what a great high fiber snack that is. Now put it back together and this time the person chooses rock. So R-O-C-K. And I ask again, which of these four numbers do you want? And they choose number four. I open number four up and it says unsalted popcorn. And if they like it, I say, well, that's great. You should make half your grains whole grains. Then I put my game back together and I ask someone else. This time they choose the word foods, F-O-O-D-S. When I ask which number they want, they choose number eight. And I open it up and it says whole grain cereal. 
and I say that is an awesome healthy snack. Now you know how to play the game and you know how to use it. So go out and find someone who you can play this game with and have a great time. You already eat a lot of high fiber foods. All you have to do is eat them more often. So today we learned that fiber cleans our bodies where our food goes, that's where our digestive tract is, and it helps prevent disease. So the next time you want to grab a snack, ask yourself, do I get enough fiber? To make sure the answer is yes, follow these four simple changes. Focus on whole fruit, vary your veggies, make half your grains whole grains, and vary your protein routine. That means make sure you have plenty of beans, nuts, and seeds in your diet. Those small changes can make a big difference. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with Snap Ed New York. This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snapedny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.